Today will be all about a tool I've been using for a while now, the Pan OS PHP framework. Before we jump in the terminal, let me explain quickly what is this framework and what we are about to achieve in this video. The purpose of the tool is to automate change, small or massive, on both the firewall and panorama. It communicates with the firewall via the XML API. I've mentioned this API already in my previous video, so feel free to have a look if needed. One thing about this framework is that it lowers the complexity compared to script or manual API call. So you don't need to be a code expert to automate some basic task. As I said, this framework is actually a collection of script and each one is dedicated to one portion of the configuration. For instance, address edit will manage address object, service edit will manage service object, and finally the rules edit script will manage security and NAT rules. And by the way, the project is fully available at this GitHub address. I have said enough, let me demonstrate the power of this framework with a very simple example. My firewall web UI is on the left and the terminal with the PanOS PHP framework is on the right. In this particular use case, I want to address an issue where the firewall administrator forgot to set up the logging option on many rules. This is of course something I could do manually, but think about it. What happens if I have hundreds or thousands of rules with this problem? This is the perfect use case where this tool will come to our rescue. Because I'm interested in modifying those rules, I'm going to use the rule edit PHP script. In addition, I'm gonna to have to provide the IP address of the firewall and an action. There are dozens of existing action, but the one we wanna use now is display, just to have a list of the existing rules on the firewall. The first time you execute the command toward the firewall, the script will ask for a login and a password. And here we are. You have the list of every rules on your firewall. Again, no change has been done. I am now going to clear my screen and repeat the same command. But this time, we will change the action. Instead of display, I'm going to use log start enable. Why? Because I want to enable traffic logging on each one of those rules automatically. Ready? Here we go. And done. Let's refresh the screen. Perfect. As you can see, I was able to enable logging on each one of those rules in less than what? five seconds maybe. And that would have been the same if I had hundreds of rules. If you are wondering what type of action or filter you can use, I encourage you to use the argument list filters and list action after the script name. This is a huge source of information that will help you to do pretty much anything on your Palo Alto network firewall. You can of course also send me a message on my YouTube channel or join me in my automation training on Udemy. The link will be in the video description. I really hope you enjoyed this one guys and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.